morning, good morning Saints. Hope everyone's doing great. Uh, sorry my voice is going, so you may not be able to hear me clearly. I hope you can. Um, hope everyone's on their way to church this Sunday. Remember not to forsake the gathering of the Saints. Um, I was just thinking on my way to work today, um, and something that God's been showing me over the last couple of days is that many of us are trying to start things. Many of us are trying to do things, reach goals in our lives without God. And um, I'll give you an example. So this morning I was on my way to, to church and I missed my bus in order to get to church. In fact, there's two buses I can get and I missed both of them. They're very close to each other. So if you miss one and you're not aware that the other one's waiting for you, then you'll miss both of them. So I missed both of them and I was thinking, all right, cool. I know that for myself, it's important that I honor another man in his ministry by being on time. And so what am I prepared to do to be on time? There were no buses for 20 minutes. Any bus that I looked to get them would be the, would, be, would make me late. And so my only option was to basically to take an Uber. And that would be my last Uber for the month until I get paid because I ain't taking another Uber. And it's like, a lot of us are willing to take Ubers um, because we're feeling lazy or because we can't be bothered to go and get a bus or da da da. But when it comes to being on time for God, are we willing to, to spend that money and, and make sure that we're on time? Um, I'll give you, give you another thing. So like for me, when I'm going to work, I, there's about five, maybe six different buses on the timetable that I can get that will get me to work in time that aren't like crazy early, right? So I've got about a, a half an hour window between those five buses. Um, and I don't go and catch the, the fifth bus or the sixth bus or, bus, bus or whatever. I go and catch the first bus. So that if I miss that bus, there's five different buses that I can get after that that are gonna get me to church on time. And I was thinking, because it's a Sunday, obviously transport isn't as great as it is on a, on, on a weekday. And so if I were to do the same thing for Sundays for church, I would have to leave about 30, 40 minutes earlier than I normally would. Now, am I really willing to do that? Because in a situation like this morning, all that happened was that I couldn't find my bus pass. And that's literally the reason why, well, not the reason why, but that's if I could find my bus pass and I would have caught the bus. Um, the reason why was because I wasn't planning, but you know, I wasn't planning to be on time really. I wasn't really intentional about being on time. And so I realized, man, just because it's more difficult on a Sunday, does that mean that I'm not gonna make the effort to, to, to make sure that I'm on time for work no matter what? Um, or to make sure that I'm on time for church no matter what. If I'm willing to, to leave my house 30 minutes earlier than I need to in order to get to work, am I willing to do exactly the same thing for church? Um, and so put put God first and don't, don't, you know, acknowledge him in absolutely everything that you do. I was reading, um, what was I reading this morning? I was reading Numbers 10. Um, and it was talking about um, Moses gathering the people and how when he blew one trumpet, certain people came. When he blew another trumpet, certain people came. When he blew another trumpet, certain people came. And I was thinking, why is it that those guys, why is it that when he blows the trumpet and the first group comes, when the first group has arrived, why isn't it that, that the second camp can't just see, okay, the second camp's gone now, let's go. And it was because, you know, it was in other things as well, you know, when, when they've all come together, then he blows the trumpet again. Um, and it was that piece of acknowledging God in absolutely everything that we're doing and to seek him first. Um, so be, be wary of the things that you're, you're trying to make work so hard, because like, it shouldn't really be that hard. But obviously, in certain situations, the, the enemy is going to be attacking you and the enemy is going to be trying to stop the things that you're trying to do for God. But in a lot of the situations for us, what happens is that we're just trying so hard to make these things fit, these round pegs in, in square holes. We're trying to make them fit um, without God, um, and that's why they're not working. Um, so have a look at the things that you're, you're doing in your life that you're trying to make so hard, that you're trying to force. You know, are you really putting God first in absolutely everything? Um, and if you're not, then something needs to change. I mean, I guarantee you that when you decide to put God first and you and you really uh, prioritise Him, you prioritise prayer, you prioritise speaking to people. Because, you know, I always pray, well, I try and pray, you know, that I'm, I'll be a woman after God's heart. And David is a, was a man that was after the heart of the people. Um, and so are you a, a, a man or a woman who's after the hearts of, of, of God's people? Are you after souls? Are you seeking to, 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 to save souls of men? If you're not, something like needs to change. Maybe have a good day, guys. Take care.
mention, I forgot to mention that today's track um, is Everything by The Truth. I believe it's potentially the fourth song of his most recent album, Vet. Um, go and check it out. I'll pop a link in the description for iTunes, Spotify, YouTube as well. Um, definitely check it out.